welcome, welcome to my channel. Today is time for a vintage inspired glam look, so let's get started. Now a lot of my looks are vaguely vintage themed, but this time we're really going for like old Hollywood glam with a little bit of shimmer as well, some smokiness, obviously a little bit modernized. And yeah, just uh, let's start somewhere with a fake idea and see where it takes us. The palette I'm going to use is this one by Kiko. I got it from a photographer I have to work with and like with anything I want to use in photo shoots. If I'm going to use it with other people, I'm going to test it out on myself first just so I know what to expect. Now this is Kiko, so my expectations are quite high, you know, it's usually Kiko is good stuff. And like seriously, the shimmer of the center color, it's so freaking gorgeous. Um, the other ones looks like good staples, so um, yeah, let's just start on the crease. Uh, like I said just now, I don't like have a very particular plan in mind, like I don't do face charts. Tried to do them back in the day when I was a starting makeup artist, but I always ended up going way off the face chart. Um, so what I like to do is just start with a general vibe, a general idea, and then just go from there. Um, I'm starting off really basic though, with just applying the palest matte shade in my crease, just to both set the uh, base and also to create a little bit of a shadow there. Now I'm just applying the blue shade, the sort of marine blue shade, in my crease, sort of at the outer corner into the crease. Why am I explaining it? Well, you can actually just see where I'm applying it. Anyway, I'm just building an upper tail that has a nice depth to it. Um, it blends really easily, by the way. And I like that it is like sort of grayish on the eye, so it gets sort of neutral. So you can get away with it even if you're not a um, cool type in terms of like color type. I'm not a cool type at all, I'm a warm type. I do notice that since I colored my hair red, I can get away with cooler colors in my face. But I totally understand that if you're like also not, you know, the type to wear cool colors, you might not actually want to go that far as to dye your hair to still wear them. Um, but yeah, anyways, just applying this, blending it out, creating some nice color there. Also, it doesn't seem to really lose much intensity when blending. Like, I just have this right compulsion to always, like, keep applying <laughs> to build up intensity. But you could totally just, you know, create a soft layer with this. Not build up the intensity and still have a nice, even shade. Like, it doesn't get patchy, you know? Like, it doesn't create weird, bold spots in the eye look if you don't keep reapplying it. It blends really, really beautifully is what I'm trying to say. Now I'm just going to create a little bit of a shadow in the inner corner and I'm just really carefully applying a little bit of eyeshadow at a time. Just to make sure that I can just blend it out into a shadow and it doesn't create some weird dark spot there. Um, this is the darkest shade from the palette by the way and I really like how neutral it is in tone. Like it creates a shadow without actually distracting from the blue. Like the blue is still like the color of the look. But it just, duh, this does just create a little bit more depth in the inner corner here. So it just creates a little bit of a more of a complete look in my opinion. Then just a brow bone highlight from a separate eyeshadow. This is a smart color by Kiko. Because there's no shades in the palette that's like bold, pale and matte enough for my brow bone. And then just back to big fluffy blender to get the top part here completely smooth. And then just a little bit closer because it's time to apply the shimmer shade. Okay, as you can see, this is literally one of the shimmer shades that just works. Like, it, it's super glittery, but it's also opaque. Like, you don't need a separate eyeshadow color underneath it to make this look good. And like, wow, look at the glitter. Gorgeous! And then there's a little bit of the silver eyeshadow right in that inner corner as a highlight. And then we have this result. And I gotta say, I really, really, really like these eyeshadows. I'm really going to put this palette in my kit after this because, wow, I want, I want to smear these colors on other people. Like, seriously, the mattes are absolutely gorgeous. Like, they blend easily, they're like nicely opaque, but like the glitter is really like, wow. I mean, I love glitter in general, but this is just so, so shimmery. Like, I really, really love this. Also, it doesn't really have a lot of fallout. Like, if you look at the rest of my face, it's like, the glitter is where it's supposed to be. Like, not all over the place, which is very, very nice. And just to finish off the eye look, I'm going to use a gel liner. This one is by Kiko as well. Mm -hmm. 
And the liner is on on bold eyes now. Uh, something I really love about the gel liner. All the types of eyeliner swirling around in my head. Anyway, the gel liner is the fact that even in black, it's like as opposed to brown, it's still, I don't know, softer than actual liquid liner. I feel like liquid liner gets a lot more sharp and like opaque and harsh. Um, okay, I could build this up to be way, way darker than it actually is. But like, I like with the gel liner that you actually have the option to keep it more subtle. Um, so yeah, because I really don't want to risk overpowering the eyeshadow. Uh, for the same reason, I'm going to go for a very subtle pile, pair of lashes. I think this is the Girl Next Door by XO Beauty. But I'm really not sure because I didn't keep them in the original packaging. Anyway, let's put them on. In case you really want to know what lashes these are, by the way, I do know for sure that they're EXO Beauty. So you could just go on the EXO Beauty website and just check out their styles. And these, if they still sell, then will be one of them. Um, by the way, yes, I was actually trying to go. My entire pile of makeup is over here. That's why I'm looking at that direction. Anyway, I was going to go for a full-on uh, Kiko look. But I don't actually have any mascara from Kiko or any lashes. Used to have them, but they were like a full on sparkly rhinestone Christmas pair. Not exactly subtle. So, yeah, that's why we're uh, going for a different brand here. So, yeah, for the mascara, I'm also using a different brand. Uh, this one is Catrice. It's really old. I don't know if they still sell it. But it's black, so it's going to do fine at merging my own lashes with the falsies. And then before finally finishing the underside of the eyes, let's just do the rest of the face. And now the face is on. Uh, I didn't film it because I kept it really simple. It's just a very, you know, basic full face of makeup. Like it's not super glam, it's not super basic. It's just foundation, cream contour, concealer, powder, blush and eyebrows and that's it. So yeah, now we can return to the eyes. I'm just going to carefully apply the darkest shade of eyeshadow, the dark brown shade. Right between my lashes and sort of blend it out. Just very, very lightly like this. Um, okay, maybe let's match it with the other eye while we're at it. Yep. Okay, and then uh, nude pencil. And yes, I still have to purchase a new one because this one is extremely short by now. But let's ignore the fact. And then just a little bit of mascara on the bottom lashes. It's not exactly vintage style, by the way, to cover your bottom lashes in mascara, but I just feel like it's, I don't know, my eyes just feels more complete. Anyway, I only left to do is lipstick, which matches my blouse. And that leaves us with the final results. Um, I really do feel like the red lipstick really finishes off the look. I gotta admit though that the shape of these lipsticks is not my absolute fave. I mean, <laughs> like I like the coverage, I like the color, um, I like the feel of the lipstick. It feels really light on the lips, but the shape makes it so that I always have to do a cleanup afterwards. Wow, the sun is like creeping up and like being annoying. Anyway, um, but yeah, anyway, I really do like the lipsticks. I just don't like the shape of them. So I always try to like use them in a way that makes them more classically pointy. It's easier for me to work with. Anyway, uh, this was another rib lipstick review. It was a tutorial and I really hope that for a tutorial you enjoyed it. Um, you could totally just go for this with like a vintage outfit. Or you could go for this for a party with like a, you know, more modern glam outfit. Um, I wouldn't exactly call this casual because of the glitter, but I can totally imagine doing casual looks with a palette like this as well because it is pretty versatile in terms of color because it is quite neutral, so it will fit with like most of your outfits. Um, anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, it would really help me out because it makes YouTube suggest my videos more often to new people. If you want to see more videos, you can also subscribe to my channel. I mostly do makeup tutorials, but I also do vlogs and sometimes nail art tutorials. And for now, as always, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!